So depending on the time of year, sometimes the more preferred method for tiger fishing is live baiting. It can definitely be one of the most successful techniques to use for tigers. Early on in the year when the floodplains up here in Barati start receding, you've got a lot of action on, on lures, but as that water starts dropping, the tigers shy away from your lures and target in on the local bait fish in and around the waters. Now a basic setup to use for targeting tigers. In this instance I've got your pen battalion. It's a 6 foot 11 2 piece spinning rod tiger edition. Yet again nice heavy backbone just so you can actually drive those hooks and make sure you pierce that hard bone in the tiger's mouth. I've got a pen fierce bait runner reel on here. Some guys don't like to use bait runners, but I, I prefer the bait runner series just simply because when you are drifting that live bait, you just click over to your bait runner, you've got your main drag already set, the tiger fish picks up your bait, he starts running, you're able to click over and immediately set, set the hooks. Now just two basic traces for live baiting. Over here I've got one which has got circle hooks on it, obviously using a 45 pound piano wire. Got a swivel at the top, two circles in, in the bait, one in the nose, one in the side. Depending on how the tiger fish are eating, which you'll soon find out after fishing live bait, if they are engulfing them, you can change over to one circle hook. But if they're being a little bit finicky, you can change over to two. Now, sometimes the tiger fish, they can be very difficult and uh, they just hold onto the bait. And when they do that, your circle hooks don't work. The, the tiger fish needs to eat the bait in order for your circle hooks to work. So when they're holding on to the bait, then you can just change over to a normal, normal J hook. Same trace, exactly the same. You've got your wire, certain length, up to you, as well as the two hooks. So you can see there, these particular ones are your owner, owner worm hooks. I like to use the, the owner worm hooks. They are slightly thinner gauge, which just helps with setting the hook and getting through that, that hard bone. Now, very important when fishing J hooks, you don't let the, the bait runner run for as long as you do when fishing circle hooks. When you're fishing circle hooks, when your tiger picks you up, you can let him run for, I'd say maybe five, six seconds before clicking over and then just obviously tightening up. You don't strike with the circle hooks, but with J hooks, yet again, depending on how the tigers are feeding, once he grabs it, you literally give him three seconds or so, you click over and then you're gonna give two or three solid strikes to ensure that you get those hooks to go through that solid bone and then your fight is on. Man, look at the size of that fish. <laughs> that is a monster tiger. Monster tiger. This is exactly why we come to the Barati floodplains, the Toya Lodge, to catch beautiful specimen tiger fish such as this. This is a fantastic 15 pound tiger fish. They do get a little bit bigger here, but this is definitely a trophy fish. My personal best to date, so I am ecstatic. These guys are built for speed and power. I mean, look look at those teeth. Absolute monsters. This is why they rule the mighty Zambezi and Barati flood plains. Look at the beautiful colors in that thing. Bright orange and black tail. The stripes. Man, these fish are incredible to catch. Super, super strong. When you get a trophy fish such as, as that one to, to revive it and, and send it on its way and watch it swim back into the deep waters to go back to her habitat and back into, into her kingdom to, to feed up and potentially fight someone else a, another day and it's, it's really, it's, it's heartwarming, it's something spectacular to see, it, it really does put a bit of a lump in your throat. <laughs> 